When Star Cruises Starbreeze recently underwent a complete transformation as part of the $250 million Star Plus initiative. This process included inserting a new 84-foot section to the ship. This update added several behind-the-scenes upgrades, as well as two new restaurants, a new pool, a reimagined spa and fitness center, and 50 new suites. So of course, we were very excited when on our recent Windstar Cruises Dream of Tahiti cruise, we were assigned one of the new Star Balcony Suites. What was it like sailing in this updated room? Well, we're here to share everything with you in our exclusive Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite tour and review up next. Welcome aboard, cruisers. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise vacation so you can see the world one port at a time. And in our recent Windstar Cruises Star Breeze Cruise, we stayed in one of the new Star Balcony Suites. How did this cabin measure up to contemporary cruise lines? Well, we're going to share all the details with you in this cruise review. But of course, if you have any questions about Windstar Cruises or the Star Balcony Suite, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll be sure to answer them. During our recent Dreams of Tahiti cruise on Starbreeze, we stayed in an SBS1 suite on deck six. Since we were guests of the cruise line on the sailing, our Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite 631 was assigned to us. Reviewing the deck plans, the starboard side balcony cabin is located midship on deck six in the newly added block of the ship. So as you can imagine, we were anxious to see this new Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite, our home away from home for the week. Since Star Breeze only has six passenger decks, decks three through eight, our room was in close proximity to most public venues, with the main dining room on deck three, the Compass Rose Lounge on deck six, and the outdoor areas, including the pool on deck seven and eight, we were never too far from the action. While we didn't need it much, our suite was also located very close to an elevator. According to the Cruise Line's website, a Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite is 277 square feet in size. It also includes a French balcony. This is larger than most standard cabins on contemporary cruise lines and on par with our suite from a previous Viking cruise. Further, all Windstar Cruises accommodations feature a queen-size bed with luxury linens, an interactive television, and premium bath amenities. At first glance, we were pleasantly surprised by this cabin. The suite offered an inviting seating area as you entered the room with the bed situated in the distance near the balcony. Immediately upon entering this Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite, we were greeted by a large seating area. This area contained two chairs with a small table in between, as well as a love seat and coffee table. The generously sized walk-in closet and bathroom were off to the right, as well as the mini bar. Continuing through the seating area, the bed area is separated by a curtain. Our queen size bed was on the aft wall facing forward. On each side of the bed, there was a nightstand with three drawers, two outlets, and two USB outlets. Across from the bed, there was the TV, three more large drawers for storage, and the vanity and desk area. Finally, there was our balcony. While not the traditional mega ship balcony with chairs and a table, this French balcony still allowed for some fresh air and access to the beautiful scenery. The bathroom in our Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite was modern and elegant. While still a cruise ship bathroom, it was larger than typical. The vanity area included double sinks with storage shelves below. There was also three small shelves off to one side for additional toiletries. The one item that is usually missing in cruise cabin bathrooms was also missing in this Windstar Cruises Balcony Suite and that was liquid hand soap. Thankfully, we always bring our own now. The shower, again, was larger in size than we have come to expect on a cruise ship. The elegant design continued with a glass door, neutral colored tiles, and stainless steel finishes. There were even large bottles of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash mounted to the wall. However, there was no shave bar. Most women appreciate cruise showers that have this added luxury. The walk-in closet offered more than enough space for a week-long cruise. It consisted of six small shelves, a clothes bar with hangers, three drawers, and the safe. This is certainly an upgrade to your typical cruise ship closet. In addition, Windstar Cruises provides bathrobes and slippers for all guests in their staterooms. 
In terms of the mini bar, there were complimentary pitchers of water that were refilled daily by the stateroom attendant. Further, the mini fridge is included in the captain's exclusive drink package. This is a nice perk that is not typically the case on contemporary cruise lines. There's also a cabinet above the mini bar for glassware and some additional storage. The seating area was quite large, offering ample seating for four adults. There was also plenty of room to walk between the chairs on one side and the love seat with coffee table on the other side. The bed offered plenty of comfort during our trip. We had no issues falling asleep at night. The upgraded bedding and linens meant we were able to unwind each evening in comfort. The desk and dresser area had plenty of counter space as well as a mirror. Admittedly, the desk did mostly serve as my wife's vanity area for getting ready during the day. There were also two European outlets, two standard outlets, and two USB outlets near the desk. We're always thankful when a cruise cabin offers adequate outlets for charging all of our devices. Unfortunately, the balconies on Starbreeze are not your typical cruise cabin balcony. Rather, it's a French balcony. It does still provide access to fresh air and beautiful scenery. Further, there's enough room for one person to step out to take photos and videos. However, you'll not find any chairs or a table on this balcony. There's no space to enjoy a morning coffee or breakfast on the balcony. Though with a room as luxurious as the Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite, there is plenty of interior space to enjoy. Our suite on deck six was the ideal accommodation for our seven day Tahiti cruise on the line's new transformed star breeze. The bed was comfortable and the suite itself was spacious. We particularly liked the upgraded bathroom, the walk-in closet, and the large seating area. There's also plenty of storage and we appreciate the number of power outlets throughout the cabin. The suite certainly had more of a modern and upscale feel with a neutral color palette, subtle blue accents, and beachy wood tones. Overall, we would highly recommend this Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite, regardless of your cruise itinerary. And there you have it. That's our honest review of Windstar Cruises Star Balcony Suite. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know your latest stateroom or cabin review in the comment section below. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise vacation so you can see the world one port at a time. And if you enjoyed this review, we have tons of other stateroom reviews, cruise reviews, and ship tours right here on the channel. I suggest you check out our complete Windstar Cruises Tahiti Cruise Review. We detail what it's like sailing in French Polynesia on the seven night Dreams of Tahiti Cruise. We cover everything from the dining, entertainment, as well as go day by day for each port of call in our exclusive Dreams of Tahiti cruise review.